Welcome to Tashkent, Uzbekistan's capital city and Central Asia's largest city. In this travel documentary, we will explore this vibrant city's rich history and culture. From its ancient roots as a Silk Road trading hub to its modern-day status as a bustling metropolis, Tashkent is a city full of surprises. Join us as we discover its stunning architecture, delicious cuisine, and friendly locals. Get ready for an unforgettable journey through the heart of Central Asia. Tashkent is the capital of Uzbekistan and the largest city in Central Asia. It lies in the northeastern part of the country and is situated at an elevation of 1,475 to 1,575 feet in the Chechik River Valley west of the Chakbul Mountains. According to a census conducted in 2009, the population of Tashkent is 2.2 million. Many people in Tashkent are engaged in agriculture. The city is multi-ethnic, with ethnic Uzbeks as the majority. There is also a small community of Greeks in Tashkent. The city probably dates from the 2nd or 1st century BCE and was variously known as Sads, Chakkent, Shashkent and Binkent. The name Tashkent means stone village in Uzbek, was first mentioned in the 11th century. Tashkent is known for its rich history and culture. The city was an important center for trade along the Silk Road and continues as a prominent export center to Eastern Europe for silk, cotton, textiles and other products. Tashkent is also known for its mosques, mausoleums and other sites linked to the Great Silk Road from China to Europe. Tashkent is also the main economic and cultural center of Central Asia. Cotton is the chief crop of the region in which it is situated. Wheat, rice, jute, vegetables, and melons are also grown, and silkworms are bred. The city lies in the most industrially developed part of Uzbekistan, and much of its industry is connected with cotton, the manufacture of agricultural and textile machinery and cotton textiles. It also has various food processing industries. Chorsu Bazaar is one of the best places to immerse yourself in the culture of Tashkent. It's a feast for the eyes with fresh meat, spices, fruits and vegetables, and everything else produced in Uzbekistan. Chorsu Bazaar, also called Chasu Bazaar, is the traditional bazaar in the center of the old town of Tashkent, the capital city of Uzbekistan. Under its blue-colored domed building and the adjacent areas, all daily necessities are sold. Chorsu Bazaar is located across the street from Chorsu Station of at the Tashkent Metro, near Kukaldosh Madrasa. Chorsu is a word from the Persian language, meaning crossroads or four streams. Kukaldosh Madrasa, built around 1570, is located at the edge of the bazaar. Tashkent's most famous farmer's market is topped by a giant green dome and is a delightful slice of city life spilling into the streets of the old town's southern edge. There are acres of spices arranged in brightly colored mountains, Volkswagen-sized sacks of grain, entire warehouses dedicated to sweets, and the freshest bread and fruits. Souvenir hunters will find Kerpacha, colorful sitting mattresses, skullcaps, shepherd, traditional heavy quilted clocks, ceramics, and knives here. Tashkent boasts of its markets and bazaars. You can buy almost anything at markets in Tashkent. From cheap eats and fresh fruits to art and souvenirs to casual and bliss mode. There are around 20 major markets in Tashkent, so there are hours of top shopping ahead of you. Some other markets you may want to visit include Mirabadsky, Gospodorny Market, Alay Bazaar, Tizaykovka Bazaar, also known as Yanyabod Market, Mirabod Bazaar, Oloi Bazaar, and Human House. Tashkent is also known for its food culture. With its enticing street food, colorful markets, and beautiful underground stations, Tashkent is an emerging tourist destination. There are many popular Uzbek dishes that you might enjoy. Some of the most popular dishes include plov, sometimes called osh. Plov is widely considered to be the national dish of Uzbekistan. It's a hearty rice pilaf with lamb or beef, onions, garlic, raisins, carrots, and apricots. Another popular dish is shashlik, which is a dish of skewered and grilled meat cubes, similar to shish kebab. It's popular in Russia and Central Asia. 
It is originally made of lamb but can also be made of beef or venison. Skewers can include meat only or alternating pieces of meat, fat, and vegetables. You might also like lignin soup. Lignin is a popular Uzbek dish believed to have originated in ancient China. Lagan is a noodle soup consisting of meat, onions, carrots, potatoes, peppers, tomatoes, and spices cooked as soup and served over pasta. It's something between a hearty soup and light pasta. If you enjoy our videos, please click the like button and subscribe to our channel for more. Don't forget to hit the notification bell so you never miss a video from us. Amir Tima, also known as Tamerlane, was a Turko-Mongol conqueror who founded the Timurid Empire in and around modern-day Afghanistan, Iran, and Central Asia. In the heart of Tashkent lies a magnificent tribute to one of the greatest conquerors in history, Amir Tima. The Amir Tima Museum, established in 1996 to commemorate his 660th birthday, is a must-visit for anyone interested in the rich history of Uzbekistan. With its stunning blue dome and ornate interior that references Central Asian Islamic architecture, the museum is a feast for the eyes. Inside, visitors can explore exhibits dedicated to the life and legacy of the Turko-Mongol warlord. Join us as we delve into the fascinating world of Amir Tima at this remarkable museum. He is widely regarded as one of history's greatest military leaders and tacticians. He is also known as a great patron of art and architecture. Rising high above Tashkent is a unique structure combining traditional Uzbek and contemporary architecture, the Tashkent Tower. Standing at an impressive 375 meters high, the tower is a feat of engineering and a hub of communication, housing equipment for radio and television. Visitors can take in breathtaking views from the viewing deck or enjoy a meal at one of the tower's two restaurants. The tower also serves as a complex hydrometeorological station, providing valuable information to the agricultural sector. Nestled in the heart of Tashkent, close to the bustling Chorsu Bazaar, lies a hidden gem of medieval architecture, the Kukaldash Madrasa. Built around 1570 by the Shabana dynasty rulers, the stunning madrasa is constructed of yellow brick and features a traditional square shape with a grand portal and inner yard. Remarkably, it is one of the few religious buildings that survived the devastating 1966 Tashkent earthquake. In the heart of Tashkent also lies a symbol of freedom and independence, Independent Square. Also known as Mustakilik Maidoni, the central square covers 12 hectares and hosts many important historical moments. The square comes alive with celebrations and military parades on special events and public holidays. As we journey through the vibrant city of Tashkent, we come across a must-see attraction that showcases Uzbekistan's rich history and culture, the Tilia Sheikh Mosque. The Tilia Sheikh Mosque is a stunning example of Islamic architecture. Part of the famous Hast Imam complex, it features a winter building, summer yard, central dome and dome gallery. Its minarets once served as pendulums for passing caravans. As we continue to explore the vibrant city of Tashkent, we come across the State Museum of History of Uzbekistan. Founded in 1876, this museum offers a fascinating glimpse into the country's rich history through its extensive collection of artifacts and exhibits. The museum's highlight is a well-preserved alabaster Buddha relief from Fires Tepe in Termas. This museum is a must-see attraction for anyone interested in the history and culture of Uzbekistan. As we journey through Tashkent, we come across the Navoy Opera Theatre, this National Opera Theatre was established in 1929 by amateurs of a concert ethnographic group led by M. Kari Yakubov. The theatre building, designed by Alexei Shusev, opened to the public in 1947 and has since been a cultural landmark in the city. A visit to the Navoy Opera Theatre is a must for anyone interested in the performing arts in Uzbekistan. Another worthwhile site is the State Museum of Applied Arts of Uzbekistan in Tashkent. 
It was founded in 1937 and contains over 4,000 exhibits showcasing the decorative art of Uzbekistan, including wood carving, ceramics, embossing, jewelry, gold weaving, and embroidery. As we wind down our journey through Tashkent, we come across the Tashkent Botanical Garden. This national treasure is one of the largest and oldest natural parks in the SIS and belongs to the Institute of the Gene Pool of Plants and Animals of the Academy of Sciences of Uzbekistan. The garden boasts a collection of over 6,000 species of plants from different parts of the world. A visit to the Tashkent Botanical Garden is a must for anyone interested in nature and the beauty of Uzbekistan. As our journey through Tashkent ends, we reflect on this vibrant city's museum's rich history and culture. From the State Museum of History of Uzbekistan and the Tilia Sheikh Mosque to the Navoy Opera Theatre and the State Museum of Applied Arts of Uzbekistan, Tashkent offers a wealth of attractions for visitors. The Tashkent Botanical Garden is a must-see for nature lovers. This city truly has something for everyone and is a must-visit destination for anyone interested in the history and culture of Uzbekistan. We hope you enjoyed this video and look forward to seeing you on your next adventure in Central Asia. Thanks for watching and supporting our channel.